Hello everybody, um, it's getting to the point where on my videos I'm getting asked some questions quite frequently and it feels like I'm just sort of copy pasting my answers, which probably would be easier if I did that. But, I feel like why not just create a little resource where I have all the answers to my most frequently asked questions in one place. That way they'll be really easy to find and if you ask one of these questions on one of my other videos then I can just direct you here. Why don't we start with my most frequently asked question and that is... Do you use a mouse to draw that stuff? Because that's like crazy, oh my OMG. And the answer to that is uh, no, that would be crazy, like OMG. But no, I use a tablet. And if you're wondering what tablet I use, which is another question, I use the Wacom Intuos 3 tablet. It's like, uh, I think it's from 2009 or something. It's it's a bit of an antique, but I love it just the same. Like, I haven't had any trouble with it. Except for, you know, every once in a while, like, it stops working. And you just, like, reboot your computer, and it's fine. Sometimes you have to redo the driver. But that's getting on to another topic. Next question is, what program do you use to draw? And currently, I'm using Adobe Photoshop CS5, which is not currently on the market, I don't believe, because Adobe has moved on to, like, the Creative Cloud where you pay monthly, which is not something that I can afford, so it's not something that I would go with. Um, that comes down to how much you're, you can afford and you're willing to pay. Um, there are cheaper options, like before I had Photoshop, which I had to buy for school, um, I used the GIMP, which is an uh, open source program, so it's free to use and to draw with so that's great it's actually a photo manipulation software so it's basically the same as Photoshop but it's free and you can use it to draw so that's great and I'm pretty sure you can actually hook up your tablet for pressure sensitivity as well I haven't I don't think I've really used it for oh, probably been four years since I used the GIMP but it's definitely improved since then and it's great like I used it for everything probably show some pictures that I drew with it like bloop 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 yeah that's with the GIMP. So it's a pretty powerful program and I definitely recommend it for beginners, especially if you don't want to spend um, upwards of $1,000 on a drawing program. Otherwise there are like paint tool Sci and other things which I don't have experience with, but I've heard they're great and a lot cheaper than Photoshop. Another question I have is how long does it take you to draw a picture? And this is a very rough question, so I'm going to give a very rough answer and that is it can, it varies. Um, usually for one of the pictures that I draw in my videos with like no shading, just line art, two sketch layers, and the coloring, it takes me about two hours to draw one of those with a single person. If you add like another person that kind of, it almost doubles the time. Depends on like if the colors are similar to each other, then it doesn't really double the time because then I'm just coloring at the same time. But yeah, that's about how long it takes. About two hours. If I'm trying something new, it takes longer. If I'm trying, if I'm just doing my same old, same old with a picture and no background, then it's, it's usually about an hour and a half. But if I'm experimenting, it ranges from two hours to three hours for a single picture. And if there's backgrounds, it's probably going to take at least three hours. Yeah. Moving on. What kind of sketchbooks do you use? So we're moving from the digital aspect to the traditional aspect of drawing. And for sketchbooks, I am not that picky when it comes to sketchbooks, as long as it doesn't fall apart. <clears throat> sketchbook 11. I think that's my next sketchbook video. So you'll see how it fell apart. Oh my gosh. So as long as it doesn't fall apart and I can draw on it, it's good. You want to definitely look at what kind of papers you're getting, if depending on what medium you're going to use. But for the most part, I just use pencil or pen. So just basic sketchbook paper works fine for me. Next question was, uh, what pencils do you use? For drawing and sketching, I like to use mechanical pencils. I just like that you don't have to sharpen them and sharpening drives me crazy. So mechanical pencils for the win. As for uh, some of my other sketchbooks, they have like colored sketches in them. And for those I use the Prismacolor Color Erase colored pencils which they come I got it in a 24 pack I think it was only like eight bucks and you got 24 pencils and they were all erasable and they're all different colors and it's fantastic I absolutely love them they erase really well unless you like draw too darkly but for an artist you want to learn not to not to draw so darkly anyway or so harshly not push so much pressure into the paper so if that's a problem you have these might help you you know practice not doing that because you'll want to erase it later but I guess that's the same it goes well, I guess that goes with any pencil. Like, if you draw too darkly, it's going to be really hard to erase. There are a few colors, like yellow. There's a couple of yellows and I think some oranges and maybe a pink that don't really show up on paper for me. But I don't really use them, so it's not really that problem. Much of a problem. Okay. And then, oh, this goes to my pen sketches, and which I do a lot of 
a lot more recently. Like I've kind of like moved on from my color erase pencils to just pens and I like to use purple pens or any pen that's within my reach. And for my pens, I like to use the Purple Papermate Profile pen. It's a ballpoint pen. And then I also use, um, I just found these pens. They're the Bic. Um, I don't know. They're just purple pens. Well, if I get to see them from here. Oh, the Bic Round Stick Grip pens. They're great. I got 12 of those for a dollar because the store was going out of business. And I was like, these will be worth a shot. And they're fantastic. And I think you can get those on Amazon. You can probably get any of this got most of the stuff on Amazon except for those the stick grip pens which I said I've got at a store that was closing and finally a question that is very 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 difficult to answer without sounding rude and that is will you draw this for me can you draw the, me for me can you draw me please and I don't really know how to answer this <laughs> except for saying that I can't physically sit at my computer and draw things all day like I do have to get up and go to the bathroom and eat and go to work and make money and things so I can't draw everything for everyone I wish I lived in a world where it rained money and I could do that but that's not a possibility at this point in time I am open for like commissions you can buy them at my store envy store there'll be a link in the description if you want to check that out if you've purchased a commission for me, I'll draw you. I'll draw your dog. I'll draw you with your dog. I'll draw a pineapple and your dog on a spaceship heading towards Mars. I'll do that for you. No questions asked. Um, if that is something you're really interested in. However, if you want me to draw something from a popular movie or TV show, the chances are much higher to get me to do it for free because if it's something that I also like, you can suggest it in the comments below. And if it is something that I like or something I'm interested, there's a very big chance that I will draw that. Just leave all your suggestions in like the comments of my videos. And if it's, like I said, something I want to draw, then I might actually draw that in a future video. So that is approximately the 12 most commonly asked questions that I get, so now you know them and you don't have to ask. Or if you are asking them, I've directed you here and now you know the answer, so that's great. Uh, if you do have any other questions that I didn't answer in this video, you can leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to them. And if they become really common, then maybe there'll be a part two of this. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope I answered some of your questions that you wanted to know and I'll see you guys all next week with another speed paint. Bye!